Hello guys, welcome to this new video. I'm in Dhaka again in Bangladesh. I'm gonna show you the room. I already sneak a peek and it's a bit different than last time. Okay, so basically here is a closet, I think. Yes, closet. And then here you have the shower room and it's like connected to the bathtub. So you see, like this. There you go. Then there's like a random door here. Then here is two beds. I think last time I had only one bed, if I can recall properly. Tomorrow we're gonna go for breakfast and then we want to go visit the foundation again, Maria Cristina Foundation. And yeah, that's it basically. Now I'm just gonna take a shower and do my facial things. Uh, go into this bed, very comfortable. I think and watch TV also just before I left Dubai I uploaded my Dubai video so yeah I'm just gonna take time and read the comments and stuff and yeah my god I've been holding this camera for so long in this hand Ooh. see you guys tomorrow all fresh all slay and everything it's 5 29 a.m. and I didn't even sleep yet and you see this it's the sunlight coming out and now I'm confused about what I should do should I either a get ready for breakfast B, sleep, miss breakfast, and cry. I don't know. This is ruining everything, guys. I totally messed this up. I was watching stuff on TV, and then I was talking to my friends on WhatsApp, and now I'm still awake, and I totally screw everything up. I'm gonna get ready, hair, makeup, all that, and then I'm gonna go to breakfast, eat so much, because I'm starving right now. This is a total mess. Okay guys, I sort of got ready. I still feel sleepy, obviously, because I didn't sleep. And yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what this vlog is gonna be. Anyway, I'm not really sure what this vlog is gonna be about because I'm not even sure if I will have enough power to do things, you know, to like go out and stuff. Oh guys this is something that is like my worst fear not sleeping i think this is the fear of every flight attendant not being able to sleep if you pressure yourself i have to sleep i have to sleep you will not sleep you will not sleep yeah so this didn't happen to me in a long time but yeah everything happens for a reason i don't know maybe the omelet maker man is my future husband and i don't know i don't really know what i'm saying right now this is bad but yeah let's just go with the flow let's go for breakfast and you know what when i packed my suitcase i was like wow mj i was so i'm so proud of you because you packed all of your chargers okay i forgot my iphone charger don't ask me how i did it it's not even my charger if you've watched my previous video you know that i always forget things i lose things i break things especially chargers and so i picked a charger from one of my co-worker that lives in the same building I have my camera charger, my MacBook charger but my iPhone charger, I don't know, I couldn't find it and I was sure I put it in my suitcase weird and I'm only at... wow, 7% okay, outfit check shoes from Primark jeans from... I think H&M can't even remember where I got those jeans from this is from H&M and then this top is from H&M yeah, pretty easy. Easy peasy today. And you can see my belly button. Guys, empty corridors again. Same as last time. I got back from breakfast. Breakfast was amazing. I was so surprised. I was on my laptop replying to comments and I was drinking my tea. And suddenly there was a man. He was like, excuse me, um, are you MJ? Yeah. He was like, oh, so you're the one who made this video last time here? I was like, yeah. And basically he's like the food and beverage manager and he was so kind and he just said hi to me He's French and also a waiter and he's so kind and he's so cute He was so happy and he was like, oh, can you take a video? I was like, yeah, sure. Meet Sajib. Hey, MJ, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Hello uh, viewers, so this is Sajib from Dhaka <laughs> And I like her video so, so much because uh, whenever he was here in the last time I saw her video It was really amazing and please like, comment and share her video Look and don't him. forget to subscribe oh he's so cute thank you so much then he was like oh MJ are you leaving I said yeah I'm, I'm going then he was like um can I prepare you green tea because I know you love green tea green tea takeaway <laughs> thank you thank you that's so adorable so yeah that's really kind and then I met some other crew and they were like whoa MJ where the hell have you been I was like yeah I was hiding in this corner in breakfast then they were like are we going to the foundation? I was like, 
yeah, sure. I didn't sleep at all, but let's go. And then they were like, at all? Not even a minute? I was like, no, girl. I was awake the whole time. Okay, now we need to go because people are waiting. So I'm gonna take cash. Should I just carry this cash in my jeans pocket? Okay, I'm gonna try to make it fit in my jeans pocket. And hopefully it's not gonna fall out because this one time happened to me. 50 years I lost in the streets of Berlin. So anyway, I don't really learn lessons. Guys, look, it's my driver from last time. Rahmat Allah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, guys, we're now with Rahmat Allah again. <laughs> so happy to see him. And I'm with two beautiful crew and they're French. Say your name where you're from, babe. Hey, I'm Julia <laughs> from France. Moroccan France. <laughs> Yes! Hello, May Senegal is French. And she's very tall. And she has this honor to sit next to Rahmet Allah. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to the foundation. Uh, first, we want to buy some food for the kids. I tried to explain to him where we want to go, but hopefully this time he will understand. Guys, last time it was such a mess with him. He didn't understand a single word, right? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't really understand me. So he dropped us here to buy food, and we hope it's the right place. Uh, I don't think it's here. That's wrong. Okay, <laughs> lost already. Oh. Shopping in Dhaka, take one. I'm enjoying this trip really. Oh. Genre des chips, des trucs comme ça. Des chips. <laughs> She's like, yeah, let's get them some Pringles. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, what else? Okay, parfait. Bah, une Barbie volante. Bah, je suis un gosse encore. Elle Ouais, il y a des petits aussi. Ouais. Ok, cool, les gars. <laughs> Guys, look at this. <laughs> C'est vrai? Yes, in the elevator. <laughs> look at her. Oh my god. With the food and this man who's helping us. Thank you for the help with this groceries. He's happy to help. Oh, he's, he's so very kind. Strong. Very strong. Yeah, he, you're a very strong man. Rahmet <laughs> Allah, please open the cargo. He was sleeping. Thanks. Okay, now we go to the kids, please. Yeah. Where is it? Is it close to here? Chérie, yeah? il comprend pas ce que tu dis. <laughs> ah ouais, à ce point, t'es sûr? Mais oui. Um, is the is the ride very long? Tu vois, il comprend pas. Of the traffic <laughs> Yeah, it's quite scary the way this is going on here with the traffic. <laughs> he didn't know he was on YouTube. Happy birthday! Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm from Canada. Um, I've been here for four days now. Um, I'm helping Jewel basically with whatever he needs help with. Hi. Hi. Yeah, they know me. The sponsor picking. Oh, cuties! My name is Shanta. Yes. My name is Shanta. I'm just seven. Yeah. Me too. We both want to be a doctor. doctor. Okay, there we go. She already fell in love. Hello, my name. Okay, I'm getting kissed. Yeah, yeah. I 
She looks so cute, guys. She wrote her name and everything here. My favorite color is pink. I want to be a ballerina. My favorite food is jackfruit. My favorite color is yellow. My favorite food is mango. Oh. My favorite class yeah. is English. Oh, great. Your English is very, very good. I love you. So this is teacher MJ today. Everybody's accepting it? Okay. <laughs> I'm teaching the class today. <laughs> when we are the age of maybe six, seven, six, seven. Maya took, uh, admitted us in this foundation. And he's our teacher. Oh, this is the teacher? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we should probably go. Okay, thank you so much. Everybody's standing up. Hi, what's up, guys? What class is this? It's home science. Home science? Yes. That's great guys. Okay, sorry, I feel bad disturbing. What Maria Christina does is raise money and send the kids to these schools. The most important thing is funding for the transportation. They take a long way to get from the community to the school and it's really unsafe. There's about 800 students at Cambrian and only 125 of them are with the foundation. And it's awesome that you can't tell who's who. The best thing to do is just donate some of your layover money. Like, you're not gonna use half of it. Donate it to the buses. Even if you don't wanna come visit, just give it to someone who does. Because if you bring clothes, food, it's very hard to distribute amongst the families equally. Again, it's so useful, but what they really need is money for the transportation. I've done a lot, but I've mainly focused on interviewing the children and composing stories for a social media page to find sponsorship because they rely on sponsorship to send the kids from the slums to the school. Our students could otherwise never get an education like this. Here they learn English, all the teachers have master's educations and the kids, when you ask them what they think about Maria Christina, they all are thankful that they get a chance for education and it is so genuine. They see education as their future, as their way out. They want to be doctors to come and help the people in Bangladesh. When I ask them, if you could have a law for your country, what would it be? Mm -hmm. They want it to be clean. They want to eliminate the distance between rich and poor. And these are some kids are 12, 13 saying things like this. It's given them the chance to do that and get out of the slums. The comparison and contrast between where we are now to where they come from, what the foundation has done is amazing. If you want to donate, you can go www.mariacristinafoundation.org and you can find everything there. Thumbs up! <laughs> so this is the mom of Ratna. I just saw her in school. She's doing very well and she wrote this on my hand. Bye! Bye! So beautiful. Way. So beautiful. Yes. So in this bed, four people are sleeping. Hello. Hi. Your kids are in the school? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, great. That's amazing. So you guys gave you this machine? Well, we had training center. Yeah. Once we had training center, there was all the parents, uh, we trained them to swing. Mm -hmm. And we also provide the swing machine, so now they can Now you know, she's work. doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. You're beautiful. I remember yeah, you, so pretty yeah. thing. Yeah, beep, 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 beep. House, <laughs> this gentleman is another family. Running door to door. <laughs> okay, before you guys leave. Okay, we're leaving this area now. We're going back to the hotel. Bye, my loves. Okay, guys, I'm super done with my life right now. I recognize so many people from my previous day. At some point, my battery died. But yeah, now I'm here and I'm super tired. Some hotels, they have like a real menu. Some hotels don't and they have it on the TV. I really don't like when they have it on the TV because I, I don't know how to navigate the menu on the TV. Yeah, there's no menu anywhere to find. So let's order with the TV. Okay, so menu not available. Come on! So how can I order my food? Guys, I'm so lost right now. Yeah, usually you press on menu and then it shows you the options. But this one, I don't know. Source? Source. Ah! Did you see? Something changed. Okay. We have to do it another way. Hi there. Um, I can't find the menu in the room. Where is it? Uh, on your bed, you find any leather folder? Um, let me double check. On the bed, you say? 
Okay, sorry. I was covering the folder with all my mess. I'm sorry. It's there. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, it's there. Sorry, it's there. Sorry, and thank you. Bye. Welcome to my life. The menu folder is under all of my mess. Okay, so I really feel bad now. Sorry. Sorry for calling people for no reason. So, yeah, I look so European. Suddenly, this face mask matches the background so well. I look like in a commercial. Do you have dry skin? Do you have wrinkles? Is your skin not happy? Ha! I found a perfect product for you. This beautiful mask, which is matching this background with this face mask that adapts to the color of your background, you'll be on fleek. Imagine this mask will exist. Oh my god, it's like drying in some parts. It's getting like so hard to move my face, like Botox effect. What do you guys think about Botox? You know? I mean, I don't want to say I'm against it, but I kind of am for myself. I mean, other people, uh, if they have like valid reasons, it's like their life, their body, YOLO. But for me, you know, I, I'm into like other things. I try to stay as young. I mean, I try to look as young. I mean, no, how can I say it? Okay, I'm just trying to look on fleek by using face mask and natural products. Oh my god, I just got the best comment. Uh, right now, I'm just checking some comments and one guy said he's gonna buy me 10 chargers for Christmas. Okay, now it's working. Oh my god, I have a hard time moving my face right now. I feel like I have a mask on. Good afternoon, Raina Smith speaking. How are my sisters? Hi there. Um, could I please order some food? Yeah, please. What kind of food would you like to have, ma'am? Um, could I get the soup, the traditional French onion soup? Okay, French onion soup. Do you think I should order some baked potatoes with it? Uh, actually, ma'am, you will get three pieces of bread roll and one bowl of French onion soup. And if you think it's enough, then you may order later on. If you think it's not enough. Okay, that's a very wise choice. Okay, I will go with that. That's that will be it. Only the soup. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks for calling in dining room. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. He was right, actually. Just finish. If you're hungry, order again. I don't know. Why don't I come up with those smart thinking ideas? Okay, now I just have to concentrate on not falling asleep, okay? Until the food comes. By watching TV. My favorite movie. Again, guys, how lucky am I? I can't move my face right now. So I can't show any joy, but Harry Potter. I like him so much. So lucky. On every layover, almost, is Harry Potter. Remember last time? I don't remember where I was, but same. Voldemort is my past, present. In future. Yeah, now it's the snake coming. There we go. I knew it. Whoa. Hi there. Thanks. Oh, sorry, by the way, for my face. A nice football team, Germany. Uh, which one? Like Bayern München? No, no, no. Not the club. The real team. The real team? Oh, the national team? The national team. Yeah, right. they're really cute. Cute yeah. boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is the soup. It looks, I don't know, a bit dark. Some bread and some cheese. Hopefully it's gonna be nice. I'm actually hungry right now. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. It's just that I can't really move my face, so... I can't really open my mouth that much. Guess who woke up? Yes, I did. And I slept for five hours and now I want to go to the gym. Okay, dokie guys, I'm wearing BTS Secret Nike. This is from H&M and this I can remember. Let's go to the gym. Guys, look, uh, the light is on. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the steam for a bit because of my ears. Fun fact, guys. I forgot to pack a proper brush for my makeup. I'm doing my whole entire makeup with this brush. Now, let me tell you, if you're a man and you don't really know what this is, this is a highlighter brush, okay? It's like very thin and you just put it a bit here, you know? I'm using my Kat Von D contouring um, powder things. You apply the powder on this surface and you go like this. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, this actually doesn't look too bad. I think I should blend it out. Oh my god, guys, seriously. <laughs> hey, this looks like a contour. Um, 
I should get a new word for this, seriously. Again, if you're a man or if, if you're a girl and you don't really put makeup on, this is not the brush you use to do a contour. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, so now we have to apply my baking. Whoa, do you see this? This powder? Oh my god. <sighs> Breathe. <coughs> do you see all this? Whew. Don't try to read it in. Oh my god, guys, it's working! Okay, I just... I just... Invented something. I invented the challenge, do your whole makeup with only this brush. Not too bad, actually. Okay, so... Yeah, guys. Whoa! Look at this. It's working somehow. And I'm again late, but I always take time to do my makeup. Because you know what? If I feel that I look presentable, I... I just feel better about everything If I know I don't look at my best, I feel like I should hide in the toilet Okay, now let's move on to the blush So I put the blush on it And now I have to put it here Guys, this is actually working, I'm surprised Okay, this is a bit too harsh, but... Yeah, this looks like blush to me Okay, well maybe I should do this all the time now Yeah, it's working Okay, cool. Now, I'm gonna show you how to actually use this blush with a highlighter. So this is a champagne pop from Becca. It's a shiny highlighter. Okay, you take it and you apply it here, above your cheek. You see? This is why this is shaped like this, just in case you didn't know. Oh, voila. By the way, guys, before I joined Emirates, I had no clue about makeup. Yeah, I found it all out once I saw everyone looking on fleek and I looked like a hot mess. Then I thought, okay, I should maybe watch some tutorials on YouTube and then I just kind of fell in love with makeup I went to Sephora and I was like, okay guys I'm gonna spend tons of money right now on products that I don't know how to apply so you guys will have to show me how to do it so they were like, yeah, no problem so I bought like everything everything and um, Sephora, especially in Dubai, I think they're amazing they help you all the time, they approach you they're so good at customer service and that's why I always go to Sephora and I always trust what they say they're so professional I love Sephora in Dubai you guys slay it except for one time I had like a little incident <laughs> actually I had two incidents, okay one incident, I got a bit insulted. I mean, okay, at that day I was really tired, so it's really easy to irritate me. Um, so I was in a Sephora. I'm not gonna say which one, but anyway, who cares? Yeah, I was with my um, flatmate from that time. What happened is I was just looking at a product, you know, and then my ex flatmate, she was there talking to this man, and I was just looking at this product. Then this man told her. You should really buy this product, you know, because yeah, this really helps with dry skin. You see, because she has dry skin. I was like, excuse me, are you like saying I have dry skin or something? He was like, well, yeah, you do have dry skin. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I actually don't have dry skin. This day I also was tired, so okay. So I was like, I don't have dry skin. And he was like, um, well, if you don't have dry skin, darling, why is the foundation not sitting properly on your forehead? I was like, I don't know. As my forehead, but I don't have dry skin. I'm not this person to answer like this. My flatmate, she looked at me like shook. And then, I don't know, I was like so sad. Like, I remember in the taxi on the way home, I was just like not speaking. Sometimes you don't really feel great about yourself, and then you need people to lift you up. If you want that to happen, you go to Sephora, and they usually make you feel better. But this man i don't know and you know and he was not even wearing makeup like you know some men they wear makeup and they slay it they just know how to do it especially in new york i remember this guy he slayed it totally in victoria's secret anyway this guy who gave me this advice didn't even wear any makeup so what are you talking about okay i'm not saying that um you can only talk about stuff that you experience yourself but still you know i was like so irritated on that day i almost cried i think on the way out I think tears came to my eye actually Do you know how much time and money I invest in my skin and passion and then you tell me I have dry skin? Like skincare is sort of my cup of tea, you know? I mean I didn't study it or anything but I just love it and I really try to like take good care of my skin and then for you to tell me I have dry skin and I didn't even ask you a question about it? No, not really, you know But yeah, this is my uh, Sephora rant But like Sephora, seriously, I love you this just was like a small incident and I don't even think this guy works anymore because I didn't even see him and I'm in Sephora all the time you know, before you talk to a girl, you should check her mood, you know like, hey, how are you today? 
Oh, okay. Then you know, okay, I should be careful. If she's like, yeah, girl, I'm slaying it, then you can go ahead and tell her something. Yes, and the second incident I occurred in Sephora was as everyone's cabin crew, you have like a sort of free thing in Sephora for your eyebrows, like they tint your eyebrows for free. I'm not sure if it's still going on, this promotion, but it used to be like that for quite a while. And so I just wanted to get them tinted, you know, like colored. So I went there, I was like, hey girl, can you tint my eyebrows? She was like, yeah, sure. And then she was like, mm, I should wax them first. Like I'm in a rush and I want to go to the movies with my friends. So just tint it because you know, if they wax my eyebrows, it's gonna be like so inflated. I mean, not inflammated, whatever, inflammation. When I said no things, she was like, but I'm telling you, it's better if I wax them. So I was like, girl, I'm meeting my friends now, like in a minute, so just tint them. And then she was like, there you go. And I was like, um, do you have a mirror or something? And then she's like, yeah, it's right over there. So I checked, I was like, whoa, I had like tinting color here, here, here. It was a mess. So I almost cried. And then I was like, whoa, I was shook. And then she was like, told you, I should have waxed them first. And then I said for a girl, she was like, oh, girl, what happened to your eyebrows? I was like, girl, I'm just about to have a mental breakdown because she just tinted them like this. She was like, okay, sit down, I'll fix it for you. So then she was so kind and she fixed it for me and I looked like sort of presentable and I always see this girl in this particular Sephora she's at the for the eyebrows counter and even one time I was with my aunt in Dubai mall I was like May do you remember the girl from my eyebrows she's like yes yeah. this is her and she has really long hair I will never forget this incident and now I'm like scared to get my eyebrows done in Sephora although it shouldn't really be okay I have to do my eyeliner now so I need both of my hands See you. Okay, I just did my eyeliner and my mascara. I'm gonna get ready quickly because I only have um, 15 more minutes. One five, not kidding. I'm just gonna say bye to you when I'm ready to go, okay? Because if I keep talking, I'm gonna lose myself in like crazy stories and you don't want that. Bye. Okay, my suitcase is not even packed yet, but I just wanna say bye now because yeah, better early than late. Thank you so much for watching my vlog, guys. I can't say it enough. I really appreciate you guys so so much i really do other than that i don't really have much to say or to add give this video a big thumbs up if you like my vlog and subscribe to my channel if you feel that you want to i'm just posing for the thumbnail right now okay so see you soon my loves bye guys this is how you usually recognize crew room do not disturb and room service